And the measure about 11 o'clock or so was that uh, Mr. O'Keefe and Ms. Reed came into the bar? Correct. And when they came into the bar, where did they go in relation to where you were? They came right over and talked to the group that we were with. And uh, when uh, Mr. O'Keefe and the defendant came over, what, if anything, did you observe the defendant do or, or have with her when she came? Oh, she had um, uh, brought a glass with her and kind of took it out of her coat and just kind of chuckled about it. What, if anything, did you observe about the glass? I believe it had ridges on it. Hey, what, if anything, did you observe as far as what was in the glass? Uh, it was clear. Were there any other kind of like a straw or a lime or anything like that? I, I don't remember. As far as you knew, uh, at some point, did you become aware of where Mr. O'Keefe and Ms. Reed had been prior to coming over to the waterfall? Yes. And where were they? Uh, C.F. McCarthy's. Where is that in location to the waterfall? Just right up the street. Now, over the course of the evening, uh, you were at a bar. Um, I heard say you were drinking. Is that right? Yes. Do you recall specifically what you were drinking? A think beer. And uh, same question with regard to Mr. O'Keefe. Do you recall him drinking? And if so, what, if anything, was he drinking? I, I can't be certain. Possibly a beer, but I can't be certain. And with respect to Ms. Reed, uh, same question as far as call her drinking and if so what if anything do you call her again i remember just a clear glass a uh, glass with a clear liquid in it any different glass beyond the one that you've already testified about or not i don't remember sorry Now, when you left uh, the waterfall uh, sometime around midnight, is that correct? Yes. And um, well, let me ask you this first. I'm sorry. So with respect to the time that you were out,